used to sing all the babies in the family. She passed away before my son was born, and we don't speak or sing Polish. My daughter, from a severe brain injury when she was 11 weeks old, was in a coma for three days. For years afterwards, when it rained, she would comment, smells like God. So if you ever wondered what God smells like, you're welcome. My daughter was about five when she says, you're the best mummy I've ever had. I said, I'm the only mummy you've ever had. She looks at me and says, no, you're the third one, but I like you the best. I was hiking alone in the woods with my son, who was seven. It was eerie quiet. Out of nowhere, he says, the woods demand a sacrifice. We're all going to die. I know, sweetie, that's just part of... You're going to die tomorrow. When my niece was seven, she asked why we were keeping all the dead grandmas in the attic. Then she laughed. Putting my half-brother down for a nap, he goes, I can't sleep with that mean little boy staring at me, points to dark closet. We decided to go to the beach instead. Can I marry you? No, sorry, sweetie, I have a boyfriend. The five-year-old thinks for a second, what if he died? At the store, he suddenly grabs my hand, squeezes real hard and says, Mama, when you die, I'm going to make a little you so I can keep you always. Like with your skin and eyes, but probably not your insides. Woke up in the dead of night in total darkness. Thought someone had called for me, but all was quiet. Didn't notice that my three-year-old had crept in and was standing beside my bed until he whispered into my ear, I used to have a train set when I was a grandpa. Mama, what happens to us when we die? Oh, um, well, oh, never mind, I remember, we become new again. She smiles and walks away. I woke up to three-year-old kid number four petting my head. I asked what she needed, and she said, I wish I had a piece of you that I could carry with me all the time, like your finger. I haven't slept soundly since. My son at five years old. Daddy, I'm going to eat you up. Oh, yeah, I'm going to cut you into little pieces. Oh, my God. When I was about 16, I was in a grocery store with my mum and a tiny child I had never seen before suddenly latched himself around my leg. He wouldn't let go, kept insisting I was his first mummy. He sobbed when cried off by his actual mother. Bizarre. When my twins were born, one of them took longer to talk. When she did start, it was in fluent Spanish, which we don't speak at home, nor does anyone who had come into contact with her. Did these bizarre quotes creep you out? Comment below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. stage. What's your name? Uh, Kevin Schwartz. Hi, Kevin. And where are you from, Kevin? Um, Madison, Wisconsin. Okay. How old are you? Uh, 49. And what do you do? Um, I'm unemployed. I'm trying to be a comedian. Oh, really? And what made you decide comedy? Um, um, there was a comedy club that was right, right down the street, and I was looking for an excuse to get out of my house. Mm. I would say that so far, mm. fear has sort of ruled my life. Comedy has been a way of trying to take back control. When I was little, my parents noticed that I had severe anxiety. My family moved around a lot, which I, I think made everything worse. Because I was always the new kid, and I was this dorky, uh, unathletic nerd. One time, my classmates spent a week not talking to me, pretending I was invisible. After college, my anxiety got even worse. Biggest disappointment of the year. Excuse me, sir, did you order a pepper? I was diagnosed with 